So this is the Luigi. Nintendo. Oh my god, that was a bit deep, Nintendo. Yes, good. Oh, the mansion looks like it's got a pair of eyes. This is Luigi's mansion. Now, I have completed this before. This was just like the hard mode, you know, and you complete it and then it sets it ridiculously hard the second time you play it and it reverses everything. That's what that is. But we're going to start a new one. And this is for my Halloween kind of thing. I swear this camera just annoys me. It's just never set good enough. I'm sorry. But um, yeah, this is a great game. I just used to play this. That is a like crap representation of this mansion. It is not rainbows and beauty. It's got eyes on it. <laughs> That's the weirdest like squeal ever. Oh wow, look at those crows. The one looks like he's gonna like peck my eyes out, and the other one's like, I'm shared. If you need throwing, that's just me throwing a bit of paper to my cat. Hello. Hello. I love that. <laughs> Was he supposed to send like Italian then? Because he sounded a bit, not to be racist sounding, I don't mean to, but he sounded a bit Asian slightly. I have no problems against Asians, by the way. But I'm, I'm going to do a little bit of this and then I'll probably for the rest of the night I'm going to do Silent Hill 3. Because that's my main projects to do. Because I'm coming so close to the end of Silent Hill 3. Sorry, I'm just trying to deal with my cat at the moment. Yuki, will you come here because you're really getting in the way? Paper. <laughs> I love the way she just runs downstairs for a bit of paper. I'm going to shut this door to make it a bit easier. Let's get some action side. Oh, that, that hurts. I love this. The best button ever, the one where you call Mario. And knock on everything as well. But by the way, you know, not to that, but you know the thing where he grabs it with both hands and shakes it. Let me see if I can get him to do it. Not like that. Like that. Apparently that's called humping the furniture. And it means to move it, but... It, I don't know, it just... It just doesn't sound very nice. So, I forgot what I was supposed to be doing. That's a mirror behind there, by the way. I'm just gonna call Mario. Maybe if I tried to open this door, it would work. I love that animation. It's an amazing game. Woo! Oh, ghost. And his key. Thank you. He wants he wants me to take that key and join him at his ghost party. What a beast. I'm not sure if you can hear me because I'm standing a bit further away from the camera and now I've come a bit close again. Peace! I got me a key. They're ridiculously huge, don't you think? And then in the animation they like shrink to real key size. The worst thing is I actually have a key like that, but it, I'm borrowing it for a project. Yeah, to skip the animation, sorry. <laughs> that is cool. That would be me if I was there. Now, that'd be me in Silent Hill. And that'd be probably Pyramid Head or something. And that would be... I don't know, probably a nurse that distracts him. He's like, hmm. Or a mannequin. I don't know. The ghosts in this game are so cute, but... Sometimes they'll make you jump if they come out of nowhere. You gotta admit that. Ouch. I'm sure this takes a lot of, yeah. This'll flick by itself. I love his little curl and that he looks like a big baby. This is gonna sound really weird, but he reminds. Only slowly, but he reminds me of a granddad I used to have who was so awesome. I know, it's because it's, he was small and he had like one tooth. He just reminds me of him, and he had glasses as well. <laughs> but he was so funny and awesome. Oh, this looks ugly. Actually, it looks pretty cute. I'd cuddle him, I'd be like, come here. 
I want to hug you. This is when everything starts to begin. I mean, just Louis just scratched his ass then. And the phone's gone off again. I, I can't be bothered to run down there and get it, in all honesty. So I'll probably get a phone call on the recording if it's someone of importance. So I'm going to have to skip this to see if I can get some action in. If not, on this video is cut short with the action, I am so sorry. Ugh. The door's going off. Right there. We're back, but the camera's not, sorry. It was my sister Laura. Locked it so I was prepared to leave her out there. What? Guy was your brother. Oh yeah, because Mario's trapped in the mansion, isn't he? Captured by ghosts. Standard. Standard. No, you haven't got the Taylor Swift album out here. Oh, I'm gonna have so many nightmares, Laura. I'm recording though, if that's okay. Unless you're going downstairs. Okay. See, to change direction. Sorry, that was Laura again. Oh. Shuffle. Shuffle. Well, there's ghosts on mysterious bear beings that can't be caught using conventional means. I don't want to catch them, I want to get the crap out of them. I love the music that's just come on. Proper kick ass. And that's where you catch them. Made your chance to vacuum them up. You have to do it quick or else they disappear. And there's ten ghosts that will appear overall here. So there'll be two more that he'll send out and then he'll send out... Wait there, one, two, three, four, five. There'll be three more he sends out and then he'll send out from all of them. Best to gather them together and... Oh, miss the one. If you get all ten, you really just congratulate her. That's about it. You don't actually unlock anything. These are probably ghosts he's caught in the past. Yeah. Catch more in one go, it's easier. I caught eight ghosts, I missed two. But, um, yeah. Let's go to the gallery. This place always used to creep me out when I was little. But basically, you'll get, like, boss characters. Which are more human looking ghosts with hair. That's, that's the best way I can describe them. And they'll end up being put into these pictures at the end of each chapter, I think you could call it. And Laura's blasting music really loud downstairs. And here at the end, this is by the way is a massive frame. And at the end, the main boss goes here in a massive frame. He gets a room to himself. But yeah, it's just lined. And you press. A to look at it. Obviously that's just a blank canvas. So I'm going to do a few episodes of this tonight and go out to Silent Hill 3. But you can just look at the pictures and if you get and the frame colour and the pose of the ghost itself and the way they look will change depending on how well you've caught them. But yeah. And you have to, and it's 21 ghosts. But I think it I think in the end you get 22 because of King Boo. I'm not sure. I don't know his little laugh. Wait right there. And shaking stuff. Don't try on the angel statues. Oh yeah, because if you shake them, the wings will move. Just like that. And because the top of the screen's cut off, sorry. You can't see it too good, so I'll move. I know, it's clear. I'm sorry. 
I'm just full of epic fail today. I don't appreciate not for today. Go out to lab. Let's go into the main story. Wait, where will you go? The training room, just in case you want to... Scratch his arse again. The training room is basically the first place we go to. And all that. Just in case you want to train, but it doesn't benefit you for later on in the game. Benefits you if you don't know how to catch them for the beginning, but later on it really doesn't help. Because it's the same thing each time. The gallery is what we've just gone to, you just appreciate art. And mansion is the real deal. I just love how she's like, bye asshole. I'm sorry the top of the screen is cut off by a fair bit. used to play this game it, it wasn't actually long I think it was like two years ago that I actually completed this but when I was little I could never complete this and this always just made me cry up for Mario he won a mansion and he never returned full ghost didn't see Mario anywhere kind of freaked out little I don't know what to do it's been awful this is the smaller words of this game so it should be easier to read than Sun Hill She'll flip. Leave it to me to find Mario. Yay! And he lights up the room. That's how happy he gets. He just illuminates. He's like, ooh! And you go to these to save. These are like your save points. You can't get through there yet. Oh, and. That's where you can see the ghosts when you collect them. And it'll have like a little bit of a fact fall on them. Let's do expel things, that's later on in the game. Look at the shuffle, I love that. Big tree! Um, i trying to think of what else I could explain. Uh, this is the maps. And there are doors that have like... Oh crap, why do I always do that? The door like this, kind of green looking one, is unlocked. And that one is locked. But you can't get to some of the locked ones until you get, until you get the, like, you know, like that, for example. That will explain all. And this, you can, like, zoom in on stuff and he'll an analyse some things. Like, you know, I never noticed how lovely those red polka dots look on top. And if you know, it depends, like, here's a good example with the mirror. You can look at yourself. But if you click that, it will just twist everything around, and it will be brought back to here. So no matter what mirror you use, if you do that, you'll be brought back to here, no matter where you are. So it's kind of an arse to you, actually. But yeah. Oh, and depending on how many coins you get and how much damage you take, it would depend on how, how it like, how the game ends for you. Like, if you get all the coins, or most of them, you get, like, an amazing mansion at the end. And that's also in a picture, but if you get nothing, you don't even get any house. Just demolished. And that's locked. And if you get, you get really bad, but you get at least one coin, you get a tent. This is the first haunted house part room and I'm being careful around these purple flames because you blow them in that's what triggers off the ghosts this game always used to be scary when I was little this was like the scariest game ever but now I play Son the Hill and this just doesn't look like that much because it used to scare me when I was a little, I get scared now. And it sounds really stupid because it's only like a kid's game, it's not even classed as horror, but... Because of the time... I'm just going to be like, hey, screw it. We're going to... Oh, right, I've got to hold it. We're going to, like, do this next time. I'm going to see if I can set the brightness up now. No. 
sorry about that. But next time, we're gonna get some crap sorted. We're gonna beat some ghosts. And these paintings will talk to us. And the camera should be set properly. And not fall. I'll just let it fall. 